What's up, Peptide fam? All right, making another video for y'all today. Today we're gonna go over Retta True Tide. All right, Retta True Tide. And apparently, Retta True Tide is supposed to be the ultimate one, still in trial phase from Eli Lilly. Um, probably it's gonna take another two years to be dropped on the market. But uh, through trials, uh, certain individuals, certain countries have got the mix for it, and you can buy it and research it. So here's what I got, man. So Red or True Tide, let me show you here. I'm doing my own research, right? All right, so Terzepatide had a weight loss of 26% in 72 weeks. Red or True Tide had a 20% weight loss in 48 weeks. Semaglutide had a 15% um, loss in 68 weeks. So Red or True Tide is clearly uh, the winner here. Now, uh, sem semaglutide, semaglutide has a, a 1x factor on losing weight. So don't quote me on this. I'm pretty sure it's just a GLP-1. The uh, terzepatide's a double x factor. So it has a, uh, um, it's a GLP-1 and a GIP. And the Red or True Tide is a triple x factor, which has a GLP-1, GIP, and also, um, it increases your uh, metabolic uh, your met metabolic rate. So, from researching this stuff, and I get a lot of good information from other researchers on Reddit forums. Basically, uh, they're saying to go up, start up slow, like all the other ones. Start up slow, and then you know, once a mo every month, uh, uh, double your dose. So they say. A lot of side effects or some side effects that people are having if you go up too fast uh, is uh, a rapid heart rate. Also with Red or True Tide, um, re apparently Red or True Tide is the only one that doesn't uh, give you like tiredness and like fatigue. Like I got fatigue on Trisepatide and Semaglutide. A lot of other people complain of that also. So Red or True Tide is not supposed to do that. So let's go over this. Do some of the good stuff. That's my kitty, meat shit. What are you doing? Say hi. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to eject this. Mix it up. Come on. Come on. Okay. All right. So here's my notes. Red or true tie, we're looking at five milligrams and 10 milligram vials. Weight loss is better than terzepatide and semaglutide. Protocol, two milligrams once a week for the first month. Second month, increase your dose to three to four milligrams a week. Uh, Reddit True Tide takes, yeah, from what I gather online from Reddit forums, takes three to four weeks to notice any effects. Reddit True Tide's half-life is six days. I also read a study on doses per week of one, two, three, four, eight, and 12 milligrams per week. The study found that there wasn't uh, any more benefits to exceed four milligram dose compared to eight and 12. Four milligram dose had the optimal fat loss compared to three, two, and one milligrams. Four milligram patients had mild to moderate gastrointestinal adverse events, including nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, and constipation were reported in 67, 35% of 190 participants in the Reddit 2 trade groups. So starting out, starting out on your first, uh, first month, yeah, say you have a five milligram vial, that's gonna last you two weeks. You're gonna have one left, so you're gonna use four milligrams out of that five milligram, so you're gonna have one milligram left over. And one 10 milligram vial will last you four weeks with two milligram left, left over. So when you double your dose on month number two, you're gonna need 16 milligrams if you're gonna be shooting four milligrams once a week. So the mix is easy. Once you see bacterial stat water into the five milligram vial or 10 milligram vial, so if you have a five milligram vial, if you want two milligrams a week, you're gonna push 40 units. If you have a 10 milligram vial, the top concentration is gonna be double, you just push 20 units for the same concept, for the same dose, same concentration here. It's pretty easy. So here I'll flip over to the doses calculator, right? So dose of your peptide here. So we got five milligrams, right? Actually, no, wait, dose of the peptide. No, wait, we want two milligrams starting out, right? Two milligrams starting out. Say we've got a five milligram vial. We had one cc of bacterial stat water. Boom. 
That's what I came up with on my meth also. If you got a 10 milligram vial, so it's out here, boom, 20. Same meth I came up with. So let me show you guys how to mix this up real quick. And Bitcoin, come on, baby. Asian session killed us last night, man. Let's go. All right. I'll do this a little bit different here. I'm not good at making videos, but I'm gonna make this one. This is my first video I'm making before the gym, so I won't have any stimulus in me. I see there's a lot of these videos. I end up shaking while I'm doing all this stuff. Maybe I won't shake, all right? So we got a bacterial site water here, and we got red tree tad, five milligrams right here, all right? So here's what we're gonna do. So you gotta make sure I'm in the camera for this. Okay. Alcohol prep. Clean the top of this. All right. Remember, there's vacuums in these vials, right? So whatever we put in, we have to, whether whatever we take out. I have to put in with air, really. So pull up 100 units of air. Okay. Put the 100 units in. There. And we'll pull back. 100 units of back water. Okay, 100 units there, all right. I'll let that sit there, all right. Now, there we go. Red True Tide, Peptide Nirvana. Boom. Sterilize the top here. All right, now these vials have a suction in them. So we're just going to put this in and it's automatically going to start drawing it in. Look, not even pushing. See, it's drawing it in. That's it. Now, put this down like this, all right? Make sure your needle's not, it's only one cc. So you see the water's up to here, black water here. So to equalize the pressure in this vial, because there's still... I can either take this out and add more air into it to equalize the pressure, or just just take just go like this. Just pull out, pull out the plunger. See it? It's, it's suctioning in. Pull out. Ah, come on. Boom. All right. See. Now the pressure's equalizing. It. Now I can put the pl plunger back in there. Okay. Okay, all right. So that's basically it, man. So now all I'm gonna do is let that chill out here. Recap my needle. Remember, don't hold it. I'm just gonna let this chill out here, let it mix up, and then start up my mix. Look, it's already pretty much mixed, pretty quick. But that's it, man. That's simple. There you have it. Y'all take care.